for, uh, for those of you who have enjoyed these shows uh, over all or part of the last 10 years, you are, uh, you are about to hear one more time uh, the guys who got this started. It was just about uh, this time in the spring of 1995 that uh, Tom and I made connection by telephone and he talked to me into doing one of these shows and we've been doing it ever since. And so uh, uh, we're back uh, tonight. He's got a new CD that Billboard magazine characterized today as a perfect album. It's getting great reviews. And uh, if you will join uh, a Andy and I in welcoming Tom to the stage with our own with, with song, uh, let's do a happy birthday for Tom. Tom Russell. You gonna play it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tom. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I enjoy it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, that's great honor. It's good to be, f I do notice the hats. I, I've never played for the Coneheads before, but. Uh, you can take the hats off though, really, thank you. I was, I'd forgotten, you know, I tried to forget. And I was gonna open with a serious song and I think I will anyway. But anyway, thank you for that. I appreciate that. And I celebrated my birthday alone up there at the top of the Hyatt and ordered up a $200 bill and put it on Alex's tab. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sobering up right now. I'd like to send this uh, first song, brand new song, uh, my birthday song out to all my exes, wherever they are. Talked to one of them today. Quite a few called me today, which was nice. <laughs> I opened it up like a G, uh, a T.S. Eliot set here. Let us go then, you and I. Evening spread against the sky. Like a patient etherized on the table. When your heart drops through the floor and her eyes begin to shine, you wonder if she loves you. Or is it just the wine? I recall when passion was our only friend When a loving conversation was not a game to win All the fine young ladies, I guess I drove them crazy Compromise was not one of the if I could hold him once again, I might learn to be a man Who could satisfy a lady in her prime If I could hold a fine young lady one more time Most of them quit drinking, they left it up to me they said, drink yourself to kingdom come, see if it sets you free. Some went to religion. Some bought cats and dogs. I pass them on the street at night, stumbling home in the fog. All the fine young ladies, I guess I drove them crazy. The compromise was not one of my rules. If I could hold him once again, I might learn to be a man To satisfy a lady one more time If I could hold a fine young lady in her prime
Is this town called Dublin? Or am I in Milan? Or on the beach of Costa Rica Lying on the sand I live mostly now in memories I've come here for the vast My name's J. Alfred Proof Rock Sir, whoa, isn't that a laugh? All the fine young ladies I guess I drove them crazy A compromise was not one of the rules if I could hold him once again, I might learn to be a man who could satisfy a lady in her prime. If I could hold a fine young lady one more time. We'll go down from uh, Dublin, <laughs> Milan. No, uh, my opening was from uh, the love song of J. Alfred Proofrock. You, mu you must read it. Like a patient etherized upon a table, let us go through the empty streets of Columbus, living in one night cheap hotels like the Hyatt. <laughs> Sawdust restaurants like the Flatiron with oyster shells that'll lead you to an overwhelming question. Do not ask what it is. Oh! He had a vision of Anne Marie with a rosary in her hand and so it's exit the rainmaker, Lord the gray flannel man, with a closet full of business suits. He left a letter near the phone. It said, I'm on my way to paradise to see the angel of Leon. And then he caught a train to Brussels. He ordered cognac and croissant. He made a mental list of things he owned but didn't want. All the buildings, all the real estate, the antique glass and stone. He traded a vow of poverty to see the angel of. that they rolled through and he closed his eyes and saw two rivers the wrong and the song the male and female spirit of the city of Leon then he waited on the bridge where they met a year before but the days turn into weeks And then the seasons numbered more And his clothes grew worn and ragged It's through that town he roamed Searching every open window For his angel of Leon And he sang Give up the secret of 
Thank you, merci. On to uh, another river, the Rio Grande, Rio Bravo, La Madre Acequia, the mother of all water ditches, <laughs> as the, uh, the Mexicans call it near where I live. And, uh, but another great river. It's dry right now, but soon the water will come down. And uh, I wrote this with Dave Alvin, the great Dave Alvin. He's actually working on this song now for his next record. I'm sure there'll be plenty of dresses in it. It's the sex factor. <laughs> Down the Rio Grande. <laughs> Baby pulled her blue dress on, walked out in the night. Left one silk stocking dangling from a bedside light. I sobered up and called her name just before the dawn. I followed footprints through the sand. I knew where she had gone, Rio Grande. Down the Rio Grande. I pulled out of Albuquerque, must have been past eight. Four cups of coffee and I hit the interstate Rolling through Las Cruces, I thought I saw the car She always said she'd go someday, she never said how far Rio Grande Maybe she's in Brownsville, she got some family there 
She always talked about the salty Gulf Coast air where the river ends Down the Rio Grande Saw an old gray heron flying south against the wind Storm clouds over Juarez rolling down to the big bend Called her name in Esperanza's dusty desert rain But who knows what the hell I'd say If I found her again, Rio Grande Down the Rio Grande Turn south on Highway 90, sky began to clear Black mountains out ahead, red sun down rear view mirror. Haunted by her dark wet skin, moving next to mine. Swore that things would change if I could hold her one more time, real grand. Maybe she's in Brownsville, she got some family there She always talked about the salty Gulf Coast there where the river ends Down the Rio Bought a bottle in Del Rio, pulled out off the road. Spent the night staring at the lights of Mexico. Walked down to the border bridge around the break of day. Threw that empty bottle off, watched it float away on the Rio Grande. I'm on my way to Brownsville in the Gulf of Mexico Like that empty bottle I may sink Or else I'll flow to the river's end Down the Rio Grande Baby pulled her blue dress on and walked out Down the Rio Grande hey. Hey. Rio People will look at that at the break. <laughs> here's a one-off. We're, we're working our way through the last three records, and uh, here's another song from that part of the country, a song I wrote with Katie Moffat called The Next Thing Smoking." Yeah. We've got two songs that said about this uh, territory out there uh, left uh, west of me, uh, Highway 9, and uh, Columbus, Hachita Animas, Pancho Villa country. And uh, so they say, and uh, back in 1916, this is just about a guy. Um, the girl went that way down the Rio Grande. This guy's walking that way towards Bisbee, Arizona, where he's going to learn how to throw pottery or something. That's why I sold my house out there. Arts and crafts, the, the limit was hit. And I, here we go. Down to 
southern Arizona I followed an abandoned railroad track Chains he used to run from Bisbee out to Juarez But the copper mines are closed Trains ain't coming back This here is the land of stolen ponies Here rattlesnakes and poison water wells Each godforsaken mile leads right through heaven Just trying to please my woman, it was hell Put me on the next thing smoking Yeah, put me on the next train out of here This heart ain't made for being broken She ain't my conductor and she ain't my engineer I'm bound to ride I've got my pride I'm bound to ride I got drunk in the Hachita General Store I passed the place Geronimo surrendered Well, Geronimo and me, we just can't cut it anymore I hitchhiked from Columbus to El Paso Where I can catch an Amtrak or a freight I walked 300 miles across the Badlands Brother, I have made the grave escape Yeah, put me on the next train out of here This heart ain't made for being broken She ain't my conductor and she ain't my engineer Put me on the next train out of here The northern or the southern hemisphere Yeah, put me on the next train smoking Good God, put me on the next train out of here I'm bound to ride Outside the town of Spavanaugh Where the red dust clouds the sun And I ran beneath your diamond sky And I drank your waves of grain My name is Mickey Mantle, boy and baseball is my game My 
my father's name was Mutt Boys. And he worked down in the mine. He'd pitch to me in the evening at least a thousand times. A thousand times again In my nightmares In my dreams You're gonna live in the house That Ruth built, kid You're gonna make that Yankee team Sure enough The Yankee scout come driving Right up Route 66 He'd have never come To Spavanon Class D ball Out in the sticks But I happened to be playing In an old wood ballpark Way out on The mother road That Yankee sky Boys, he signs me up And I went up To the show Strike one That was a drinking Strike two There go the knees Then the old man Died in Denver Some type of lung disease When God starts throwing change-ups You can't swing with fame or wealth If I'd have known I was gonna live this long I'd have taken better care of myself Yeah Shores Bar I miss my old man Pitching baseballs Near the shed In our backyard Well I wish to he Were still around To see these trophies On my shelf If I'd have known I was gone Live this long I'd have taken better care of myself I was born in Oklahoma in 1931 outside the town of Spavanon where the red dust Clouds the sun. E e e Thank you. All right, you kids, if you're going out for Cokes, go now. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, do It is? Oh, happy birthday. What's your names? I wonder why you just kissed her. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I have no objection. I, you know. Well, Kelly and. 
Well, happy birthday, Kelly and Christy. Well, okay, we'll do a quick one for you because I, I don't know, you guys sang it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, twin sisters Kelly and Christy. And they're the best of friends, too. Happy birthday to you. Stand up and take a bow. There they are. <laughs> Kelly and Christy. Okay, that's enough. I want some ID that says you're twin sisters. I don't know. All right, all right. Oh, thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Very loving couple. Okay, here we go. Muhammad Ali. Everybody. Flow like a butterfly to sting like a bee. My name is Muhammad Ali. One more time. Flow like a butterfly to sting like a bee. My name is Muhammad Ali. Down here in Louisville. Any little black kid named Cassius Clay I won the gold medal for the land of the free Refused Vietnam, they took my license from me yeah. Flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee My name is Mohammed Ali I came back and fought where the fighting was fair In the tropics of Manila, in the jungles of Zaire Up against George Foreman, they said I had the world with my rope of dope. Ain't no Viet Cong ever call me nigger. No George Foreman ever call me a quitter. So like a butterfly, sting like a bee. My name is Muhammad Ali. To Louisville, but now it's painful to talk. All the little children know my heart is free. Don't cry for Muhammad Ali. job out there, Columbus, the historic Columbus Music Hall. Let's hear it for Mitch on the sound, doing a great job tonight. <laughs> well, we got a brand new record out, the second of the year, called Indians, Cowboys, Horses, and Dogs. A little something for... We're going to do that in just a second. I thought I'd do a more poignant love ballad first. And uh, we'll do two or three off the new record. And uh, before we take a break, and uh, we'll be back there signing them, hopefully. Because tomorrow's Dayton, Ohio, and the uh, Canal Street Tavern. I don't know if I'm going to sell any down there. Sold up a bunch of drunken uh, students. And uh, we have to put on a different type show there. A little more edgy. <laughs> But uh, we'll be back there at the break, and Andrew Harden has a new one or a repackaged new one. And we have our email list. So enough said. Well, I'm going to do this one. I wrote with a great uh, poet, cowboy poet, friend of ours, Paul Zarziski, ex-bronc rider from uh, Wisconsin. That's where all the bronc riders come from. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Marge. Oh, no. No, no. She, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she died, Marge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 
But at the flat iron in about four hours, he'll be laughing. <laughs> what kind of uh, vodka do you have? Waitress goes through hundreds of vodka. He goes, finally goes, I'll have a gr dry Grey Goose martini with a twist. <laughs> Ten of those, he'll be laughing. Right? Perhaps. <laughs> a man of few words, Andrew Harden. There he is. Anyway, this is a love song and I uh, wrote with Paul and uh, it's called Buck and Horse Moon. Down a one lane road, there's a dusty fairground where I learned the bronc trade. I fell in love with a blue eyed twister and her smoky whisper. She said they call me Cimarron Dove. We'd spool our bedrolls on down together. My calloused hands comb through her hair. She'd stare at a star through an old mesquite tree. See that moon shadow? There's a bucking horse there. Sweet bird of youth, no easy keeper, blown with the seasons all too soon. Beneath Montana's blue roan sky, Nevada starlight and the bucking horseman are love reeled out like a western moon. Down hard worn highways through the rodeo towns, wrapped in her wings for a midnight flight. That bucking horse moon kept shining down. Bucking horse moon on the hood of the truck, she'd smile and say, It means good luck. Bucking horse shadow through the purple sage. We'll ride forever. Our love won't age. But heart and bone are made for breaking. The Cimarron dust gone with the wind. Then a bronchial Prescott rolled on his back. I'll never ride rough stock again. Sweet birdie, you know he's a keeper, blown with the seasons all too soon. Beneath Montana's blue roan sky, the vast starlight and a bucking horse moon. I lost my youth on a dusty fairground. I'm an old bronc fighter, long past high noon. But on a haunted night wind, I can hear her whispering as I search the heavens for the bucking horse moon. The Cimarron Dove and the Bucking Horse Moon. Sweet bird of youth, no easy keeper, flown with the seasons all too soon. Beneath Montana's blue roan skies, Nevada starlight and the Bucking Horse Moon. Wyoming sundown and a bucking horse moon. Nevada starlight and a bucking horse moon.
Tonight we ride. Tonight we ride, boys. Silly little macho thing here. We uh, had the honor of uh, playing for the Rancho Vistador as I dedicated this song. Sort of an anthemic thing. I really meant it to be sort of a joke, but people are sort of digging it, so that's good. But uh, uh, they're really a group of what, 1,000 riders? How many were there? I don't know. Thousands. How many lawyers can you count on one hand? You know. That's <laughs> oh, sorry. Last night in Cleveland, man, it was warriors, wa warriors and lawyers wall to wall. Man, I really took the hell out of them, too. But you know what? They can't mess with Alec Whiteman anymore. <laughs> Enough said. But he was selling CDs, too. Every one of those lawyers had to buy one. And I signed their name on them so they couldn't trade them in on eBay. <laughs> Pancho Villa crossed the border in the year of odd 16. Get ready. The people of Columbus, Ohio, and Columbus, New Mexico, and even the twins still hear him riding through their dreams. He killed 17 civilians. You could hear the women scream. Scream. Blackjack Persian on a dancing horse was waiting in the wings. Tonight we ride, tonight we ride. We'll skin old Pancho Villa and make shafts out of his hide. Shoot his horse, Siete Lewas, and his 27 brides. Tonight we ride, boys, tonight we ride. We rode for three long years till Blackjack Pershing called it quits. When Jackie wasn't looking, I stole his fine spade mitt. It was tied upon his stallion, boys, I rode away on it To the wild Chihuahuan desert, so dry you couldn't spit Tonight we ride, you bastards dare And we'll hunt the wild Apache for the bounty on his hair Then we'll ride into Columbus, climb up the whorehouse stairs Tonight we ride Too damn old to sit a horse, I'm gonna steal the warden's car Break my ass out of this prison, leave my teeth there in a jar You don't need no teeth for kissing girls or smoking cheap cigars I'll sleep with one eye open, beneath God's celestial stars Tonight we rock, tonight we roll We'll rob the border liquor stores for the rape of Sada Gold If we drink ourselves to death, ain't that the cowboy way to go? Tonight we ride Tonight we ride, tonight we fly, we're heading west To the deserts and the mountains where the eagle makes his nest if our bones rot on the desert, let's consider we are blessed Tonight we ride, tonight we ride Woo! Tonight we ride, boy. Tonight we ride. Tonight we ride. We're heading west to the eagle and the mountains where the eagle makes his nest. If our bones rot on the desert, we'll consider we are blessed. Tonight we ride. Tonight we ride. It starts with that one and it ends with a lullaby. I'll tune up on the next song. Go and saddle your little blue horse. Where are right for better or worse? Across the blue midnight sky where the stars never die. On the wings of a little blue horse He's got a Navajo brand on his hip 
He's got made in Japan neath his lip. He's got birds in his mane. He won't ever be tame. Go and saddle your little blue horn. Down all of my day, I'll never figure his way. He can ride on a sandman's moonbeam. He's a nursery rhyme horse from Banbury Cross, where morning's never as far as it seems. And lullabies are the music of dreams. He's got a rocking chair legs made of wood. He'd be a real horse if only he could. Through all kinds of weather, on a bed of goose feather, we're gonna ride on your little blue horn. So baby, lay down in your bed And chase the troubles and trials from your head Close your sweet little eyes Then we'll mount up and ride On the wings of a little blue horse over blankets on your little blue horse. Thank you. We're going to do uh, one, two more quick ones here for you. Floor, it belonged to Prince. Purple rain. See that? What show was that? The Grammys or something? That was the best part. <laughs> Purple rain. Looked good. The Botox Cowboy. No Botox is used during this show. This is real. Jackson Brown, man, he's got a perpetual smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, we're going to do, here's one uh, off the record. Uh, Eric Temple, is he here tonight? Where are you, Eric? There's Eric Temple. He's a, a great uh, movie producer, and uh, let me tell you this. Uh, we're doing this train across Canada. Maybe you heard about it from... Uh, Vancouver to Toronto, it's sold out, but it's a uh, it's, uh, 1950 dome liner. We're going to do it again next year. But uh, it's got Hot Club at Cowtown and us and Fats Kaplan and playing every night. And Eric's uh, crew is going to film it. And I like to do this song for Eric because it's about a, an old hero of mine. I'm fighting developers in El Paso. Literally hand-to-hand -hand combat out there with lawyers and developers. I want you all to listen to this song. So this is for Eric and his wife. It's called The Ballad of Ed Abbey. Modern day outlaw ballad. And I did hear from Ed's wife. She said she loved the song, so that's nice. Let's go right to the story. It was in the town of Tucson. It was 1983. A man named Edward Abbey come walking up to me. 
He pulled his cigar from his mouth, said, I smell lawyers here. <laughs> the politician running dogs, oh, they crawled away in fear. Sing a do I do, sing a do I do. Ed walked across the desert at least a thousand times. He spoke with Havelina and slept neath pinyon pines. And if Ed saw a billboard there, he chopped that bastard down. Ed said, if a man can't piss in his own front yard, well, he's living too close to town. Hey! Sing a do right do. Sing a do right do. Even in Columbus. Yeah, I wish it were Abby. We're walking around today. It had a taste for women. In fact, he married quite a few, just like Pancho Villa. He said, I fall in love, boys, but I'm only passing through. He said, I love them all, boys, some more than the rest. But I've tried my hand in monogamy. Now I'm off to save the West. Sing a do right do. Sing a do right do. It died one day at sundown in his Tucson riding shack. They wrapped him in a sleeping bag and they drove him way out back. Beneath the wild saguaro, coyotes chewed its bones. And on a hidden marker, it said no comment carved in stone. Sing a do right day, sing a do right day. Yeah, I wish it were Abby were walking around today. Now I'm living in the desert, but the towns are closing in. Those cracker box developments. Ed would call us sin. We stole this land from the Mexican. Now we'll sell it back. Let them live like mortgage prisoners in those goddamn housing tracks. Sing a do right do. Sing a do right do. Tell me who votes for the mountain lion. Tell me who votes for the fox? Who votes for the spotted owl that hides there in the rocks? Yeah, I wish it would come again with a chainsaw in his hand and carve on up those housing tracks and take on back the land. Sing it, do right, do. Sing a do right day. Yeah, I wish it were Abby were walking around today. Hey. One more time, Andrew Harden on the guitar this set. One more song here before we take a break. As I forgot to say, uh, the significance of that was that Eric Temple's uh, company did a uh, very great movie on Edward Abbey. What's it called? The 
Voice in the Wilderness, a great movie. You can probably get it on Amazon or talk to Eric there, right? It is available, right? <laughs> anyway, I've seen it uh, lots of times. It's a great movie, and uh, Ed did not mince words, I'll tell you that. And enough said. We're going to get right to the, the um, last one. Speaking of not uh, mincing words that day when I was walking through the pecan orchards hours and hours with Uncle Tommy Gabriel, and he didn't say a thing. And he turned to me suddenly, and I thought, the meaning of light. And he says, you know, there's a lot of assholes out there. <laughs> no, no, he didn't say that. <laughs> That's what uh, the poet, uh, 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 who's it, in Patterson, New Jersey, William Carlos Williams said that to uh, Allen Ginsberg one day after a five-hour silence. <laughs> I always thought that was good. But it's a family show, so I'll rescind that last remark <laughs> for the twins. <laughs> By the way, how old are the twins today? <laughs> which, which town? Tempe, Arizona. Let's hear it for her. She flew all the way in from Arizona. <laughs> Southwest Airlines or American West or something. This is for you. This is called Everything's Gone Straight to Hell Since Sinatra Played Juarez. <laughs> I want you all to sing now as we head back to the bar, such as it is. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, oh. spot. Come on now, Andy. It's the last song of the set. One, two. Yeah. One, two, three, Sa spot. Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woody Bully, come on. <laughs> Let's not be L7. Get it? All right. Andrew Harden. Whatever happened to Sam the Shell? Uncle Tommy Gabriel. He played a blue piano while Frank and Ava Gardner danced the Wild Warrensy Tango. Those are two legal and yes, my Uncle Tommy said. Everything's gone straight to hell since Sinatra played for it. I wish life were still like that, Uncle Tommy said. Here we go, everybody! Everything's gone straight to hell since Sinatra played for it. All right. You could get a cheap divorce, get your Pontiac tuck and roll, and take your dolly to the dog track and hoof fiction chiller. To club the Chinese palace, the old Kentucky bar, the matadors and the baseball heroes, great B movie star. I wish life were still like that. Uncle Tommy says, Here we go. Everything's gone straight to hell since Sinatra played Warren. He owns a carpet store. He lives out on his pecan farm. I don't cross the bridge. He says, Get ready. Cause everything on straight to hell is on the blue water. I wish I burst it like that. Uncle Tommy said, Real loud now. Everything's gone straight to hell since the night you played for it. One more time. Come on. One more. Everything's gone straight to hell since. They were louder in Cleveland and they were lawyers. Everything's gone straight to hell since. Yeah. 
Andrew Harden on the guitar, Mitch on the sound, Alec Whiteman hit a Baker and Hostetter. Get back there and buy that new record. Buy it for 15. If you don't like it, we'll buy it back for 20. God bless y'all. We'll be right back. Unplugging. Okay. Is there a guitarist extraordinaire in the house? Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's hiding. <laughs> um, Thursday night, April 1st. If you don't have your tickets, it's too late. Uh, Guy Clark. Um, Friday night, I think it's June 18. Um, Jim Fisher from This Week magazine said it was the best show in Columbus last year, better than the Dixie Chicks, better than Billy Joel and Elton John. It was his concert of the year, Lynn Miles. Um, first time announced Friday night, November 5th, an old friend, Michael Fracasso. And uh, with that, Tom Russell and Andrew Harden. Thank you, Alec. Thank you, and uh, once again, uh, great to be back here. Thanks for buying the records. We hope to see some of you in Dayton, Ohio, tomorrow night at Canal Street Tavern. And we'll try to do some different stuff tomorrow. Different shirts, anyway. I've even changed shirts for this set. That's how much I care about you folks in power. We'll take you back to Oslo, Norway, 1981. Uh, Andrew and I were working some of the toughest bars in the world before the oil money came in and destroyed the ambiance. A little street called St. Olaf's Gate. We'll send this out to the memory of the late, great Doug Somm who recorded this. Drinking black market vodka in the back of the Scotsman's saloon. And then it's red meat and whiskey like a coyote Drunk on the moon But outside in Oslo The buskers all sing the same tune Well it's a old scene Matilda While the bagpipes play old Claire de Lune. She was a lady She came down from Bird she said She spoke a little English We laughed and drank whiskey instead But in the morning I found The rose and the note on my plate it said meet me at midnight On the corner of St. Olaf's Gate Here's to the ladies you love and you don't see again The night is warm whiskey, the morning's cool, bitter wind Yeah, the blue-eyed Madonna leaves town but a drunken man waits Standing alone in the shadows St. Olaf's
cold, bitter wind Yeah, the blue-eyed Madonna Leaves town, but a drunken man will Standing alone in the shadows Of St. Olaf's Gate Standing alone in the shadows Of St. Olaf's Gate Susan Tuck. Jim, can I get Jim? Jim. Jim. Alec. Can I get a cup of coffee, please? Cream and sugar. Just trying to make it through some of these longer songs. <laughs> Before I hit the flat iron for my birthday party. <laughs> yeah, you're all invited. Andy's going to buy each and every one of you a drink if you show up. Because he can. It's the way he is. It's the way he feels about Columbus. Yeah, I own a distillery, actually. He owns a distillery. <laughs> all right, we're going to go through. It's actually cost effective. Get it all out, my son. <laughs> okay. We'll be featuring him soon and quite a bit in Dayton, Ohio. But uh, how many people are going to come to Dayton? Come on. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to Tom. Two people? Write out all your quests. I'll do anything you want to hear. The rest of you, I'm going to do John Denver songs the rest of the night. <laughs> this is the way you treat us? We got to go down there alone? We'll go. We'll go. All right. Here's my favorite love song. I think of uh, St. Olaf's Gate in this song in the same uh, breath. I didn't write this. It was written by Michael Smith of Chicago. I learned it about the same time I was writing the St. Olaf's Gate and was very impressed with this song and uh, we recorded it on uh, modern art. This is called The Dutchman. Dutchman's not the kind of man To keep his thumb jammed in the dam That holds his dreams in But that's a secret Only Margaret know When Amsterdam was gold And Margaret brings him breakfast She believes him He thinks the tulips bloom beneath the snow He's mad as he can be But Margaret only sees that sometimes Sometimes she sees her unborn children in his eyes Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyder Sea Long ago, I used to be a young man. Now, dear Margaret, remembers that for me. The Dutchman still wears wooden shoes. His coat and cap are patched with love. Margaret sewed in. Sometimes he thinks he's still in Rotterdam He watches tugboats down canals And calls out to them when he thinks He knows the captain Till Margaret comes to take him home again Down unforgiving streets That trip him though he holds her hand Sometimes he thinks he's alone and calls her name Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyder Z 
long ago I used to be a young man Now dear Margaret remembers that for me The windmill swirled the winter in She winds his muffler tighter They sit in the kitchen Some tea with whiskey keeps away the dill He sees her for a moment, calls her name out I mean some old love song They learned it when the tune was very new He hums a line to they hum together in the night The Dutchman falls asleep And Margaret blows the candle out Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyder Zee Long ago I used to be a young man now, dear Margaret, remembers that for me. Michael Smith. I would like to think that uh, not only would I like to think that coffee's brewing, I'd like to think that uh, <laughs> the song they were listening to in that kitchen, the old love song they were listening to, could have been Navajo Rug. <laughs> For Emily and Emily, Emily Whiteman, wherever she is today. She tried to get me to do it the first set, but I make them stay around. We need all the good-looking young ladies we can. Here comes Jim. Let's hear it for Jim. All right, Jim. Thank you. You got any cream back there, Jim? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my birthday. I can do whatever I want. All right, I'll take you and you. Just kidding. Get back to the show. But there was a young lady at the show last night named uh, Kimberly. Remember her, Alec? <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> God bless all the lawyers, too. Anyway, <laughs> God. this is for Los Dos Emilies. You know, it was a year in uh, Columbus where, you know, everybody named their uh, girls after Emily Dickinson. It's like up in Canada, one year everybody named their boys Gordon. All right, back to the show. Could have been worse. Well, it's three eggs up, a whiskey toast, home fries on the side. You wash it down with that roadhouse coffee, burns up your inside. It's just a canyon collar at a diner, a waitress I did love. Where we sat in the back beneath the old stuffed bear in a worn out Navajo Well, old Jack, the boss, he closed at six, and Katie barred the door. She pulled down that Navajo rug and spread it on the floor. Yeah, I saw light in the sacred mountain, saw the dance of the turtle dove. I was lying next to Katie. On that old Navajo rug Ay, 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 everybody Katie Shades of red and blue Ay, ay, ay Katie Whatever became of the Navajo rug in you Katie, yeah Well, I saw old Jack about a year ago He said the place burned to the ground all he said was an old bear too And Katie, she left town 
On the kitty, she got her a souvenir and two jack spat a tobacco plug. You said you should have seen her running through the smoke, a hauling that Navajo rug. Ay, ay, ay. Kitty, shades of red and blue. Ay, ay, ay. Kitty, whatever became of the Navajo rug in you? Kitty, yeah. the sacred mountains and lightning breaks above it always takes me back in time to my long lost katie love everything keeps moving everybody's on the go where you don't find things that last anymore like a double woven navel ay, ay, katie shades of red and blue ay, ay, Whatever became of the Navajo rug in you, kid? Shades of red and blue, kid. Whatever became of the Navajo rug in you, kid? Shades of red and blue. Houses, so say it's good to the last drop. <laughs> oh. That'll knock you right off the wagon. Anyway, I wanted a sip of coffee so we can do something up tempo here. Uh, a song I wrote with the great Dave Alvin called Out in California. Yeah. Usually I ask uh, so I can inject it into the song the name of a local bar, the toughest bar in town. But uh, seeing that's uh, how we're in Columbus, I'm not going to, no. What's the toughest bar in town? Oh, what? What? One at a time. Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. It's come to that, has it? <laughs> oh, he, he doesn't think that's funny. He's, <laughs> he's there every day. Uh, double mocha decaf with uh, whatever Seinfeld has on. Shot of tequila. Shot of tequila. <laughs> okay, give me the name of a bar. Fairview. Fairview, okay. Doesn't sound rough, but I'll put it in there. Okay, did the twins hang out there? Orange carpet. That sounds better. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to the orange carpet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here drinking in the last bar on the orange carpet, man. Yeah, I'm sitting here drinking in the last bar on But out in California, she's tearing off her tight red skirt. Well, the mountains out the window, they're all Yeah, the mountains here shaped like a woman I think it all the bed. She may be out in California, but I can't get her out of my head. Out in California. Well, they killed all the Indians, they shot all the grizzly bears. Yeah, from California they shot all the grizzly bears But she just stands by the window and she's coming out her long black hair 
If a man keeps a runner, he'll run right into his cell. Lord, if a man keeps moving, he'll run right into himself. She may be out in California, but she's lying down with somebody else. Out in California. Out in California. Yeah, wow. Gonna buy me a shotgun as soon as my love rolls around. Andrew Harden! I'm gonna buy me a shotgun as soon as my love rolls around. Yeah, then I drive right back to that California town. Yeah, I'm sitting here drinking in the last bar on Orange Carpet! I'm sitting here drinking in the last bar on the Fairview for Mom. Out in California, she's taking on her tight red skirt. Andrew Harden, thank you. It's called Milk in Columbus. We can always use some of that on the road. Thank you, that's very nice of you, thank you. Calcium. Calcium, yeah. Calcium. No car I don't need carbs, that's for sure. But uh, we're gonna do uh, a little tribute right now to Johnny Cash, because we miss him a lot. And uh, we had the pleasure of working with him uh, several times, and uh, it was, uh, yeah, enough said. He was bigger than life. And uh, he recorded a couple of songs of mine. One that I've heard, that I haven't heard him do this, but it's back in the archives, they say. It'll come out one of these days. I'll do this for my friends down here who will be at Dayton tomorrow. And I'll do it again tomorrow with all the secret new verses. <laughs> this is called Blue Wing. He had a blue wing tattooed on his shoulder Well, it might have been a blue bird, I don't know But he gets stone drunk, talk about Alaska The salmon boats and 45 below He said he got that blue wing up in Walla Walla where his cellmate there was little Willie John And Willie, he was once a great blues singer And Wing and Willie wrote him up a song They said it's dark in here Can't see the sky But I look at this blue wing and I close my eyes Lord, I fly away beyond these 
these walls Up above the clouds Where the rain don't fall On a poor man's dream Well they parole blue wing in August Of 1963 He moved north picking apples To the town of Wenatchee And winter finally caught him in a rundown trailer park on the south side of Seattle where the days grow gray and dark and he drank and he dreamt a vision but when the salmon still ran free and his father's father's cross that wild old bearing sea and the land belonged to everyone there was old songs yet to sing and now it's narrowed down to a cheap hotel and a tattooed prison wing. Hey, it's dark in here. Can't see the sky. But I look at this blue wing and I close my eyes. Lord, I fly away. Beyond these walls. Up above the clouds. Where the rain don't fall. On a poor man's dream yeah. Yeah. Well he drank his way to L.A. And that's where he died No one knew his Christian name And there was no one there to cry but I dreamt there was a funeral A preacher and an old pine box Halfway through the sermon Old Blue Wing began to talk He said it's dark in here Can't see the sky But I look at this Blue Wing And I close my eyes Lord, I fly away Beyond these walls up above the clouds Where the rain don't fall On a poor man's dream Yeah, yeah On a poor man's dream Yeah, yeah. On a poor man's dream Thank you. All right, here's a, a song Johnny Cash did. We recorded it on the new record, the sort of cowboy record, and uh, actually it was written by uh, Peter Lafarge, who sang uh, mostly about uh, Native Americans. And I did a Native American uh, medley on the new record. But uh, Johnny Cash did a, uh, an entire uh, record of this guy's songs, Peter Lafarge, back in the 60s, called Bitter Tears. And this was the single. And of course the radio wouldn't play it. But it's a true story. It's called The Ballad of Ira Hayes. Come gather round me, people. A story I will tell. About a brave young Indian should remember well from the land of the Pima Indian proud and a noble band who farmed the Phoenix Valley down in Arizona land down their ditches for a thousand years the water grew Irish people's crops the white man stole their water rights the rippling water stopped so Irish folks were hungry, but their land grew crops of weeds. But when war came, Ira volunteered, forgot the white man's greed. Called him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian, the Marine went to war. They battled up Iwo Jima Hill. 
250 men But only 27 left To walk back down again And when the smoke had cleared And old glory raised Among the men that held it high Was the Indian Ira Hayes Ira Hayes returned a hero Celebrated throughout the land he was whined and speeched and honored. Everybody shook his hand. But he was just a Pima Indian. No water, no home, no chance. Back here, no one cared what Ira had done. Hell, when did the Indians dance? Call him drunk and Ira Hayes. He won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian. The Marine that went to war So Ira started drinking hard And jail was off on his own They let him raise the flag And lower it there Like you'd throw a dog a bone He died drunk one Sunday morning Alone in the land that he fought to save Two inches of water in a lonely ditch Was a grave for Ira Hayes Call him drunk and Ira Hayes He won't answer anymore Not the whiskey drinking Indian The Marine that went to war I Call him drunk and Ira Hayes He won't answer anymore Not the whiskey drinking Indian The Marine that went to war Yeah, call him drunk and Ira Hayes but his land is just as dry And his ghost is lying thirsty In the ditch where Ira died Peter Lafarge do a Johnny Cash song for you. He wrote a lot of great songs and uh, I was listening to his ballads of the old west. The other day we had a gig down in Marathon, Texas, down in the beautiful Big Bend and uh, man, uh, that was a good record. Harden wouldn't run. Andrew Harden's re relative, uh, John Wesley Harden. <laughs> Actually his great grandfather. Shot down on the streets of El Paso and uh, by Sheriff John Sh Selman and they as they used to do back then in El Paso. They still do it. In fact, they pulled him out into the sidewalk and propped him up for about 24 hours so all the locals could come and see John Wesley Harden. And he's still buried there in the Concordia Cemetery next to the L&J Mexican restaurant. Pardon me? Nothing, he was the sheriff. This is Texas, my friend. Jeez. Martha Stewart. <laughs> Arrogance will get you nowhere. Audio. Send her up. To, send her to Huntsville for a few years. See what she cooks on TV after that. <laughs> I taught the weeping willow how to cry, cry, cry Taught the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky Tears are cried for that woman, they gonna flood you big river I'm gonna lay right here until I die Well I met her accidentally in St. Paul, Minnesota And it tore me up every time I heard her draw southern squall Found my dream and went back downstream, cavorting down to Devonport. Followed you, Big River, when you called. Bet it on the 
down by Baton Rouge later on the River Queen. Send that woman on down to New Orleans, New Orleans. Go on, I've had enough. Shove my blues back in the go. She loves you, Big River, more than me. Cover up a clear blue sky Tears to cry for that woman They're gonna flood you, big river I'm gonna lay right here until I die Johnny Cash, a little tribute to Johnny Cash with Luther Perkins. Hey. Little Marshall Tucker there for you. Just like the Almond Brothers. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> the twins. And mom. And mom. <laughs> Screw the flat iron. Let's go to the orange carpet. We'll be laughing at the carpet. God, the orange carpet. I've um, I gotta see it. Obviously, it's got a dirty, grungy orange carpet. Really, I thought so. A lot of DNA in there, huh? <laughs> hey! Hot day! Roll him on! Get me a lawyer! I was gonna do a ballad, but I don't think I can pull it off. <laughs> Any requests, folks, here in Columbus, Ohio? Are you Frankie and Johnny? Frankie Acosta. What was that one? What's Frankie Acosta? Oh, yes. Mineral wells I hear out there. God bless you, sir. The guy that's going to play the happy birthday on the piano right after the show. You were in Mineral Wells. Did you ever get inside that big old hotel? God bless you. What's your name, sir? Marty will do the song just for you. Marty Crawford. Stationed in Mineral Wells, Texas. U.S. Army. That's enough information. Helicopter pilot. That's a tough thing to do. Oh. You have to have a left-handed helicopter? Oh, the, the blade goes the other way. I got it. God bless you, Marty. Can you teach me how to fly the helicopter Alec gave me for my birthday? <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to go to Mineral Wells, Texas now in a great love story about a faded movie queen and a guy named Fat Boy. Thank you very much, Columbus. She was living in a Cadillac, bedded down in the back seat on a back street of the Hollywood Hill. With a shoebox museum of memory. Old photos and medical bills She'd once been a great actress In two dozen movies Played Shakespeare on the great London stage Before the three husbands Six kids of bad breaks Of 50, 60, 78 odd years of age I can do whatever I want, it's my birthday Well him they call fat boy Wore gray overalls and he clocked in at 900 pounds. Keeps getting bigger. 
the carbs. What a society we live in. <laughs> I can't even look at a donut now because I wonder if Martha Stewart will be eating carbs in prison, man. <laughs> what goes around comes around. With a passion for food and film magazines, he once been a top critic downtown. Well, he'd seen all her movies. He worshipped her face. He heard her story and invited her in. Though she bore no resemblance to the star he adored, the film's over, boy. Real life begins. Yeah! She told him of a fountain of youth in the hot Texas earth. It'll heal and renew us. It's somewhere west of Fort She met Errol Flynn there in the Crazy Water Hotel. I got it right. And they danced down the street in the moonlight of Old Men Road. Shoe love. So they boarded a Greyhound in search of the fountain. Fat boy and the aging film queen. Through the great painted desert, then on across Texas, Amarillo, plain view of Well, they got off in Fort Worth for a fresh cup of coffee. Caught the local to Old Mineral Well, and he dropped them in front of that boarded up mansion. The Crazy Water Hotel was closed. Disillusioned, they found a cheap room off the highway. Drank vodka from a styrofoam cup. Wouldn't you? There'd be no healing return to the past. The fountain of youth had dried up. So the critic and the film star held hands and drank vodka as the great Texas sun rose and fell. And drunk but still dreaming, they waltzed up the street in the moonlight of Old Mineral Well. True love! She told him of a fountain of youth in the hot Texas earth. It'll heal and renew us, it's somewhere west of Fort Worth. Frankie Acosta, I finally figured out what song he's in. Can't keep my characters straight. He's the one with the rooster, right? Oh, no, that's Carlos Zaragoza. We got a new ending coming on Gaia Del Cielo tomorrow in Dayton. It's going to blow your mind. The return of the chicken. Unbelievable. Well, yeah, what is it, an hour's drive? What are you going to do in Columbus on Saturday night? Go to Dayton. Bingo, that figures. <laughs> Go to the orange carpet, okay. Good answer. They got stuff tougher than the orange carpet in Dayton. They don't have carpets in Dayton. <laughs> All right, here's a story about uh, some uh, jobs I had in LA back in the late grade 1960s. some of that West Montgomery jazz guitar.
I used to work with a guy named Frankie Acosta. We were butter strippers down at the Challenge Creamery. <laughs> Stripping the cardboard off 70 pound cubes of butter. Christ, it was hot back then. Summer of 63. Frankie, man, he'd get so angry. He'd say, see what my woman makes me do. Then he'd rip off a splinter from an old dirty wooden pallet, stick it like a knife in one of them big old butter cubes. That's what work is. That's what love is. A little pleasure and a little misery. Now every time it gets tough up here, I think of L.A. back in 1963. Hey. Then I got a job working for the city of Englewood, running a wood chipper, chipping limbs off of trees. Worked with a guy named Crazy Dave Macklin, Crazy Dave. Right up till the day Crazy Dave tried to run a tractor over me. We were out chopping weeds near South Central when the riots broke out and the sky turned all fiery red and brown. So I called up my girlfriend on a payphone and said, Baby, I love you, but it's over. God's gonna finally burn Gomorrah down. Baby said, That's what work is. That's what love is. You build a house of straw till the flames lick the sky. Now every time I fall in love out here, I think of L.A. back in 1965. Finally got a job driving a rose truck. Santa Barbara, midnight, down to LA, 5th and May. Jacked up on coffee, cheap speed and donuts. Walking around the LA flower market in the rain. Every morning I'd eat breakfast at the pantry down on Figaro, it's still there. The waiters were always old-time ex-cons. Then we load the truck back up with empty rose boxes and drive on up the coast through the California dawn. That's what work is. That's what love is. Two eggs over easy on a T-bone steak. Now every time I see the sunrise on an ocean I think of L.A. back in 1968 That's what work is That's what love is A little pleasure and a little misery Now every time it gets hard up here I think of L.A. back in 1963. Hey. I used to work with a guy named Frankie Acosta.
Thank you. What work is? Well, we got time for two more here, and uh, we're going to have feature right now the dynamic vocal stylings of Mr. Andrew Harden from Wimberley, Texas. He's got a song, a new one for us, and uh, it's done by uh, Dan Hicks and his hot licks. Right? You like that one? Whatever you want for your birthday, man. I don't want driving nails in my coffin tonight. <laughs> done that a thousand times. I did it with a great earnest tub. Maybe you did you just, it just as just good. Maybe just rather have a moment of silence. Yes. <laughs> moment of silence. I wonder what I'm going to order at the Flatiron. Hmm. <laughs> they got steaks over there, Alec? Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to do a special song for you in a minute, but uh, how about I like I Got Mine. I like it. It's an old song. Actually, I first heard it uh, by Jim Queskin and the Jug Band back in the 60s uh, before Mel Lyman took them over, and it's a whole lot acid thing. I, I could tell you some stories, but it's a family show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. We're cutting a live record here tonight with Steve Bushell. Welcome, please, Andrew Harden. One, two, yeah. one, two. Three. I went down a big crap game, certainly was against my will. Lost every doggone nickel I had, put a greenback dollar bill. Hey. Four about bed laying on the floor, and buddies pulling nine. And the police came, he got all of us. I got mine. I got mine. I got mine. Grab my money off the floor, out the back door, I went blind. Ever since the big crap game been living on, living on chicken wine, I'm a leader of high society. I got mine. There's a bob shop way across town down in Novo Street. Only place on Staten I them gamblers care to me. Some come in for a haircut, some come in for a scrap. You see me and my buddies there, mean to shoot some crap. I'm talking 7 Eleven, won't you come, come, come? Sitting on 7 Eleven dice, I'm done, done, done. I see the police falsely mean gonna run, run, run. I'm a leader of high society. I got my Them gamblers care to me. Some come in for a haircut, some come in for a scrap. You see me and my buddy say, mean to shoot some crap. I'm talking 7 Eleven, won't you come, come, come? You don't 7 Eleven dice, I'm done, done, done. If I see the police, full see me, I'm gonna run, run, run. I'm leader of my society, I got mine. Those rascals up the next morning. I got mine. Andrew Harden from Wimberley, Texas, the spiritual capital of Texas. Let's get ready to rumble. We got time for one more song before we get down there. This is called El Gallo del Cielo. Thank you, Columbus. Thank you. His home in Casas Grande when the moon was full. No money in his pocket, just a locket of his sister framed in gold. He rolled into El Sueco, stole a rooster called El Gallo del Silo. Then he 
crossed the Rio Grande with that fighter nestled deep beneath his arm. El Cayo del Cielo was a fighter born in heaven, so the legends say. His wings, they had been broken, he had one eye rolling crazy in his head. But he fought a hundred fights, and the legend says that one night near a square called Chinga. They fought Cielo seven times, and seven times he left Ray Brewster's dead. $27 and the good luck of your picture frame and gold. Tonight I'll put it on on the biting spurs of Gallo del Cielo. And then I'll return to buy the land that Pia stole from father long ago. Outside of San Diego, in the onion fields of Paco Monteverde. The pride of San Diego, he lay sleeping on a fancy bed of silk. But they laughed when Zaragoza pulled that one eyed Del Cielo from beneath his coat. And they cried when Zaragoza walked away with a thousand dollar bill. $1,500 and the good luck of your picture frame and gold. Tonight I'll put it all on the body spurs of Gallo del Cielo. And then I'll return to buy the land that Bia stole from father long ago. Now the moon has gone to hiding. Lantern light spills shadows on the fighting sand. Where a vicious black named Zorro faces Gallo del Cielo in the night. But Carlos Zaragoza fears the tiny crack that runs across his rooster's beak. And he fears he has lost the $50,000 riding on the fight. If some money's on the table, I'm holding to your good luck framed in gold. And everything we dreamed of is riding on the spurs of Del Cielo. I pray that I'll return to buy the land that Via stole from father long ago. Then the signal that was given, roosters rose together far above the sand. El Cayo del Cielo sunk a gaff into Zorro's shiny breast. They were separated quickly, but they rose and fought each other 37 times. And the legends say that everyone agreed Del Cielo fought the best. And the screams of Zaragoza filled the night outside the town of Santa Clara. As the beak of Del Cielo lay broken like a shell within his hand And they say that Zaragoza screamed a curse upon the bones of Pancho Hill When Zorro rose up one last time and pulled Del Cielo through the sand Good luck, brain and gold. I buried it last evening with the bones of my beloved Del Cielo. And I'll not return to buy the land that Bia stole from father long ago. Do the river still run muddy outside of my beloved Casas Grande? Does the scar upon my brother's face turn red when he hears mention of my name? People of El Sueco curse the theft of Gallo del Cielo. Oh.
tell my family not to worry I will not return to cause they were shade Guitar. Thank you, Mitch. Great sound. Thank you, Alec Whiteman, Zeppelin Productions. God bless y'all. It's the best surf day I've had all year. Thank you. Tom Russell and Andrew Harden. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Well, we're going to do a uh, uh, Bob Dylan song for Alec that uh, we've never done. Not off the new record, but uh, it's the one I first heard from uh, Ian and Sylvia. I was a big Ian and Sylvia fan. Still am. I'm a bigger Ian and Sylvia fan than Ian is. We discussed that today. We'll do this for Alec and Steve Bushell, who's uh, visiting us from New York. He will be in Dayton tomorrow. Jim and Lisa might be. I don't know. I got a little... Uh, Lisa doesn't like me anymore, but Jim does. Uh... No, I would like to thank Jim and Lisa for selling the records back there. Thank you, Jim and Lisa. We've still got several thousand of the new record. What the heck are you people going to do with your 15 bucks? I'll tell you this, if you don't like the record and I don't sign it, you bring it back and Tom will give you $20. Next time I'm in town. Or not. Try this one. It's called Tomorrow is a Long Time. If today was not an endless highway, if tonight weren't a crooked trail, if tomorrow wasn't such a long time, then lonesome would mean nothing to me. Yes, and only if my own true love was waiting Yes, and I can hear her heart softly pounding Only if she was lying by me And I lie in my bed once again I can't see my reflection in the water I can't speak the sounds that know no pain I can't hear the echo of my footsteps I can't remember the sound of my own name Yes, and only if my own true love was waiting Yes, and I could hear her heart softly pounding Only if she were lying by me And I lie in my bed once again
There's beauty in the silver singing river There's beauty in the sunrise in the sky But all of these, nothing else can match the beauty That I remember in my true love's eye Yes, and only if my own true love was waiting Yes, and I could hear her heart softly pounding Only if she was lying by me And I lie in my bed once again Bob Dylan for Alec Whiteman and Kathy and Betty. Thank you very much, Bob Dylan. Very deep catalog he has. And uh, we'll do one more for you. This is a song uh, that we ended Borderland with. I wrote it with Andrew Harden. It's called The Road It Gives, The Road It Takes Away. I want to head over to the flat iron. And uh, boy, I've given R Roger a lot of push tonight. He might even give me a free glass of wine on my birthday. One of those carb free cakes that he's selling over there. The gentleman that puts the music on the flat iron jukebox is here tonight. He promised to put Indians, cowboys, horses, and dogs right on the jukebox. All right, God bless you. Anyway, this is uh, dedicated to a guy that used to sing in the bars of Oslo back in 1981. Uh, when we first went over there doing four sets a night, seven nights a week. And I'm telling you what, these places were ten times as heavy as the orange carpet. <laughs> Whew. The goldfish. <laughs> the goldfish in, yeah. We had to have our own personal bouncers imported from Finland, brought into Norway. One of them name was Life, L-E-I-F. The other one we called Death. <laughs> Life and Death. They got old Tom and Andy down the road every night. Oh my God, what a blood bucket. But old Scottish Mike would sing in the Scotsman Cafe. About the end of the night, he'd sing the beautiful Irish ballad, Carrick Fergus. And he'd look to the waitress, like I'm looking to Becky here, saying, is my bottle of Merlot up in the dressing room? Along with my smoking jacket and my pipe. <laughs> At least the Merlot, huh? <laughs> And uh, he would took a turn back to the waitress, which he eventually married. Big mistake. And he said, I'll sing no more now till I get a drink. Then everybody would sing, because I'm drunk today. And I'm really sober. handsome rover from town to town oh but I'm sick now you bastards no he didn't say that my days are numbered come all you young girls oh there's my bottle of Hold it up in the air, Alec. <laughs> Come all you young girls. Where's Kimberly? Where is she, Alec? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's here, Alec. <laughs> I'm Irish. <laughs> and lay me down. Columbus. Let's rock. Or not. I was walking down a quiet road in Ireland. Out beneath the tough old ancient star. I thought I heard old Scottish Mike singing Carrick Fergus. 
I recall the wild days in those loud Norwegian bars. What'd he say? He'd say, I'm drunk today and I'm rarely sober. Just like a soldier on the road to Mandalay. Yeah, the road he gave him wine and the women dark and fine. He drunk himself to death. I Sing it in the morning yeah, Thank the Lord for giving one more day And for the ones who passed on through We sing this one for you All the road it gives and the road it takes away My baby says she Mind me traveling. Huh. Said she enjoyed her time alone when I was gone. Hmm. Hmm. Should have been the first indication. Something was gonna go wrong at home. I saw the anger buried far too long. You came out to that house, didn't you? How'd you read the situation out? right below the surface, seething, but I was too blind to see. So to try to win her back, I picked up my guitar and sang the Dutchman. That usually works. <laughs> About two people whose love grew kind with age. But my baby, she was gone before the song was sung. All the music never touched her anyway We'll sing hallelujah, we're singing in the morning yeah, Thank the Lord for giving one more day And for the ones who passed on through We'll sing this one for you Tom Russell and Andy Harden, thanks for coming. <laughs>